Arnab, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, some of the reality is finally getting through to Putin now. He's been living in this bubble, a bubble of disinformation and lies, and now it's clear that the Russian economy is suffering very, very seriously. The Russian military has been embarrassed. They didn't, they expected some kind of lightning strike to take Kyiv. It didn't happen. The Ukrainian resistance has been much, much stronger than anybody anticipated. Putin is isolated. What's happened is the opposite of what he wanted. It, what's happened is that NATO is strengthened. NATO is further resolved. The U.S. has increased its troops in Europe from 80,000 to 100,000. The world, for the most part, is united against Russia now, and Russia's position in the world is much weakened. Putin's own position has been greatly diminished in his own stature and his own legacy. So this has been a disaster politically, <coughs> militarily, economically, strategically, and morally for Russia. And uh, if anybody, if, the, if Modi and Xi Jinping and others can prevail on Putin to end this as quickly as possible, that's the best thing, not only for the Ukrainians, not only for the Russians, but for the rest of the world, with the danger of this escalating into a much broader confrontation and possibly world war. So I'm, I'm looking at the signals here right now, and I, I'm just looking at what Putin has said here. And, and I'm looking at whether Putin is looking uh, for a way out because, you know, there's been contact between Jake Sullivan, who's uh, the national security advisor of the U.S., and uh, Russian General Nikolay Patrushev. Now, uh, my question there is, uh, uh, Dr. Hussein, uh, that's big. I think the fact that there has been contact is massive because it shows that you know, both sides have begun a process of negotiation. Now, they can say the talks are about Iran, but essentially it's contact between two major policymakers, isn't it? Yes, uh, I think today Turkish Foreign Minister met uh, uh, Russian uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov. Uh, last week uh, in Antalya, uh, Russian uh, Foreign Minister and uh, Ukrainian Foreign Minister were there. I was also listening to their in, uh, to their speeches there, and also uh, we had a big, uh, important meeting. Uh, but the fact is, uh, Turkey tries uh, to bring uh, two sides uh, together, uh, Zelensky and uh, Putin, as, as much as uh, as soon as possible. I don't know whether it will be the case, but you are right. Uh, it is getting more and more difficult now for uh, uh, for uh, Turkish side because the uh, conflict is getting much uh, harder and uh, we will see how uh, how in the coming days uh, the uh, how in the coming days the situation will improve or not improve